Hi, this is Brian with TCS, and today we're going to show service techs how to change out an old thermostat with the new Ubiquistat. As a precaution, disconnect power from the HVAC unit or the 24 volt transformer before changing out the thermostat. First, before you remove the old thermostat, you must make sure you have the address and baud rate of this thermostat so that you can program it into the new Ubiquistat. Now this is really important that the new Ubiquistat has the exact same address and baud rate. And that way, all of the data, programming, alias names, scheduling will all flow seamlessly from the Ubiquistat into Ubiquity. So, in this case, we press the Program Setup button, and since this stat requires a code to access programming, we use the down arrow to scroll to 248. Then, press the Program button until we get to the address and the baud rate. In this case, the stat is address 3, and the baud rate is 9600, and you should write those down. Press the Service Status button to return to the main screen. Next, remove the old stat. First, detach the cover from the base. We do recommend that you do not reuse the terminal blocks and plug them into the new Ubiquistat. Uh, the reason for that is that some of these uh, terminations are not going to line up with the new Ubiquistat, including the AB reference and of course some of the inputs and outputs. Plus, some of these terminal blocks that you're going to be running into are pretty old and they could have corrosion over time. However, we do recommend reusing the power terminal block as those will match up and by leaving it in place will ensure you maintain power polarity throughout the network. Before removing the wires from the remaining terminal blocks, note how the wires are connected to the labeled terminals. It would be recommended to take a photo of the terminations. Write down the color of the wires to the terminations as you will need this for future reference. Also note the colors for the AB reference wires for communication, the outputs along the top, and the inputs along the bottom. Once those are written down and a photo taken, remove any remaining terminal blocks, then the screws connecting the base to the wall, and then discard the old thermostat. Remove the base of the Ubiquistat, feed the wire through the back opening, and mount to the wall. Using the notes you made when removing the old thermostat, Terminate the wires to the same inputs and outputs as labeled on the Ubiquistat. Finally, reuse the power wiring and black terminal block from the old thermostat and connect it to the plus and minus terminations on the new Ubiquistat. To attach the front cover, first, make sure that the connectors on the top board are aligned with the connectors on the bottom board. You will notice that the top connector is horizontal and the bottom connector is vertical on both boards. Although TCS has made it so the boards cannot be connected incorrectly, Forcing the boards together in the wrong way may damage the Ubiquistat. Align the right side of the face of the Ubiquistat to the right side of the base of the Ubiquistat and then press it to lock in place. Then press the left side in place. Reconnect the power to the HVAC unit or transformer. The Ubiquistat will now automatically power up and you are ready to go through the startup wizard. The first screen will be display settings. Leave the factory defaults of Fahrenheit, the 12 hour clock, and the high backlight. Each backlight will dim down after a few minutes. Choosing the low backlight will dim down to a blank screen. Touching the screen when it is dimmed will return it to this chosen backlight setting. Set the date on the Ubiquistat for the month, day, and year. Set the time to the local time. Ubiquity programming will adjust for daylight savings time if that function was enabled on the older stat that is being replaced. Select the thermostat type. Only select heat pump if the Ubiquistat will be controlling the reversing valve on a heat pump through the BO wire connected to that terminal. If the unit is a heat pump that has an internal reversing valve control, just select conventional. Select system mode to auto. If the system mode needs to be in heat or cool, this setting will be programmed once the Ubiquistat connects to Ubiquity. The occupied fan mode will be left in the factory default of auto. Again, if that mode needs to be on, such as in sites where it is required by code, this will be reprogrammed once the Ubiquistat connects to Ubiquity. For communication mode, make sure that TCS bus is selected, as the default is BACnet, and if not changed to TCS bus, the stat will not communicate on the current TCS building network. Next is the very important step of programming the network address. 
this must be the exact same address as the old thermostat that was removed. Note, if you are programming address 3, for example, you do not need to add in the two zeros in front of 3. Just put in 3 and click Next. Now is the programming of the baud rate. Since you selected TCS bus as the baud rate, the default of 9600 is selected, which is most likely the baud rate of the old stat. If not, use the arrow keys to select the correct baud rate. If you accidentally selected BACnet, the default of 38400 will appear. To correct this, Press the back button several times to change to the TCS bus, then next until you return to the baud rate screen. To confirm that the Ubiquistat has all the correct communication settings and is communicating on the network, press the status button, then the network button. On the top left of the screen is the RS-485 settings. There, you can confirm that you programmed the correct TCS bus mode, the address, and the baud rate. If those are not correct, go to Settings, Advanced, page 2 of Advanced, and click on Reset to Factory Defaults. This will take you back through the Startup Wizard again and you can reprogram all these settings. If those are all correct, look at the right side of the screen for the RS-485 status. The link should say Connected and there should be RX and TX activity in the form of a blinking light about once every minute. This shows that the Ubiquistat is communicating on the network with the QD2040. If only one or neither of these lights are blinking about once a minute, First, remove the cover of the Ubiquistat and recheck the AB reference wires to make sure they are properly connected and they are the same as the remaining network. All A's to A's, all B's to B's, and reference to reference. Also, check polarity of the plus and minus 24 volts. Once checked, reattach the cover of the stat and navigate back to the network screen. Finally, you will need to program a four-digit code to lock out the higher functions of the stat. First, press the setting button, then advance, then scroll to the second page of Advanced, then press Access Code. You will then enter a four-digit code. You will then have a second screen to confirm this code. Once complete, return to the home screen. You will now see that if you try to access the settings, you will be required to use that four-digit code. However, the occupants will still be able to adjust the temperature set points and access the status screens. Now, open Ubiquity and go to the programming page on each controller. Click the Read Controller button on the bottom of the page. This will trigger Ubiquity to discover the new Ubiquistats, program them with the old thermostats programming and scheduling, and eliminate the old SZ model thermostats. Confirm that the Ubiquistats are now visible on the site and that all old SZ model thermostats have been eliminated. Following these steps will lead to a successful changeout to the new Ubiquistats. And if you need any other help, just give us a call.